Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a real quick one and kind of, oh, you like the light? This is gonna be a real quick one, kind of following up uh, yesterday's video, talking about the Blackmagic Pocket 6K G2. Uh, just a couple hours ago, Blackmagic released the uh, DaVinci Resolve 18 update that allows you to use gyro stabilization from the Pocket cameras, 4K, 6K, 6K Pro, 6K G2, all the pockets. And I just wanna show you how it works and one limitation that I'm a little disappointed by, but is what it is. All right, we are in DaVinci Resolve. We got a bunch of footage pulled in. All right, so you have your clip selected here. This one is just a random one of my kids running up and down the stairs, shot handheld on my 6K Pro. And then just as you would expect, you come over here to the stabilization uh, settings, turn it on, and now in the drop down menu, you're gonna see a new option for camera gyro. And you can still mess with the strength settings, but everything else is uh, cropped out here. And you're just gonna hit stabilize. And it's gonna do its thing. Aviva, you're really trying to kill my audio with uh, playing with those tools, huh? Don't worry, I am gonna leave you with a bunch of like sample footage of what it looks like before and after stabilization with this new option. But the biggest downside is the fact that it only works on new clips. That's right, you have to update your camera firmware and then every clip after that is going to capture the gyro data. I know that Grant said it's basically been a hidden feature inside of all the pocket cameras since the 4K. And so I was kind of hoping that it had always been capturing the data in some way and then we could go back to old footage and use this new stabilization feature. But that's not the case. It is only for new clips that you shoot from 7.9 or whatever the latest software update is and going forward. For example, I have this clip selected here. It's one from my previous videos, What Up Cliff and Cajun, and it was shot on my 6K Pro as well. But for here under stabilization settings, uh, you'll notice I don't have that gyro option. I just have the traditional stabilization options. So with that, uh, here's a bunch of sample footage of what it looks like before and after stabilization. Everything is shot handheld with my Pocket 6K Pro. No gimbals or anything like that. And uh, let's see what the final results look like. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. At first I thought this was going to attempt to make it look like handheld footage is now like gimbal footage and just like pure magic. And maybe in some clips with some of the custom settings you could uh, get it to look like that. All of the stabilized settings was just the default. I didn't want to go in and like hand pick change each one because that'd be too hard to explain and and put out there. So this is just when you hit stabilize, that is what you got. But for most of the clips, what it did is it still looked like handheld footage after it was stabilized, but it, it looked like more pleasing to watch. Like the before handheld is, you know, if you were to watch a video like that, I'd be like, well, that's a bit too shaky. And so the gyro stabilization kind of took just like the brunt of the ugly 
uh, shakiness out of it, but still kept that handheld vibe to it. It didn't look like it was shot on a gimbal or anything ridiculous, which I think is good because if you push stabilization too far, especially on cameras that have rolling shutter, which is the majority of them, you get that really like wobbly type stuff. And even though this was like simple sample footage of just, you know, my kids running around the house, I was trying to be mindful of situations where digital stabilization usually falls short. So like the clips where I passed in front of the straight columns. I wanted to see if those would turn into warped messes and they really didn't. So I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you happy with the results of this? Were you hoping for more uh, stabilization and more magic? And keep in mind too that Resolve 18 is still technically in beta so I'm going to say that this is a beta feature so all this could be optimized even further by the time it really goes public release. Anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.